Gun violence and the Second Amendment sound like heavy topics to tackle in a theatrical production, but not for a group of Dallas teens. They spent the last six months gathering material for a documentary style play. An opening night is almost here. Channel 8's Teresa Woodard reports. Do you open the door when you hear all that racket out there and that noise? And, and so I, I didn't know what to do, and I told the kids that. Angie Hogue is quite convincing on stage. So it was 154 shots in five minutes. It's continual. Maybe it's because her lines weren't written for her. They were said to her. It was like, police, you know, open the door. In a documentary style play now in rehearsals, Angie portrays a second grade teacher from Sandy Hook Elementary who huddled with her students and survived a 2012 mass shooting. To like actually go and meet these people. Okay. This Dallas area youth theater company went to Sandy Hook. That was very intense. And DC. Even our politicians and their aides are really polarized. And to the NRA convention. They interviewed people about guns, violence, and the Second Amendment, and turned their exact words into a play. Well, you really have this responsibility to tell their story in the most accurate and genuine and authentic way that you can. Their production does not take a stand. They hope real stories start real talk. To actually see some improvement and to make compromises and to make change, we all just need to start talking to each other about it. I think the truth of this production is that no one has an answer, and that's really hard for people to admit. I'm really proud. Founder Mara Richards Bim feels something special here. You know, they've tackled a really difficult topic, and so I think that um, in some ways, you know, watching them do that gives me hope that, you know, maybe the rest of us could. Being mature, showing respect, the right approach to art and life. Yeah. Teresa Woodard, yeah. Channel 8 News.